your flavor. In Touch Radio. This is Tampa Bay Tammy. You are tuned in to In Touch Radio, reality radio where everyone is a star. And I am the star of the moment, baby. I am Tampa Bay Tammy. Boo (laughs) to DJ CEO. What's up, baby? Hey, baby, how you doing today? Y'all know what? I have been missing in action, but what I've missed most of all is playing with my man on the radio. Oh. Hey. Watch your hands, baby. Watch your hands. <laughs> I ain't going to get it like that, but anyway. You know what happens when you and your spouse play with each other in public? When you go home, he rises to the occasion with no problem. Things don't get easier. They get harder, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get it, y'all. Y'all get it? All right, all right, all right. Y'all, it's a beautiful day in Tampa Bay, even though it's raining. Why I say it's such a beautiful day is because we live in paradise, about as close to paradise as you're going to get right here on this earth. Because, first of all, you're in the protected United States. Mm, little bit to be questioned, but we ain't gonna deal with that one. Now we'll let straight up the middle guys deals with deal with those kind of problems. My stuff is always on the up and up, so we are happy. You are right here in Tampa Bay, and it's 80 degrees. Now we got a little rain, and I'm grateful because last week we had some 90 degree weather, and some yeah. of my grass was beginning to burn. So, baby, I thank God for the rain. Mm-hmm. Hmm, thank him for the rain. We could be in California when the sun shines and burns and the fires begins. So we have to learn to count our blessing and be grateful for the places that we are and the stances that we are and the, where God placed us. I am grateful. Now, I have actually been missing in action for a very good reason. Some of you know and some of you don't. My mother lives with me now. And that's a handful, but it's a you blessing. Are officially a caretaker. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl be a mess too. He come in, his eyes be bucked. I be acting crazy. Mama be looking cuckoo for cocoa pops, and then next thing you know, we we hugging, we fussing one minute, hugging the next. Well, she has Parkinson's, and when you deal with Parkinson's, sometimes delusions come with that, and it's not big delusions, but sometimes they're negative delusions, thinking things can't be that are. Or, what you can do that you can, and it just gets to be nerve-wracking. And before I know it, I find myself hollering up, frustrated. And so I have found out a lot about myself during this time. And I found out I ain't as good as I thought I was. Okay, yeah, I need prayer. I need church. I need patience. I need a whole, I need some help. And anyone in that situation needs that too, so y'all be patient so they can continue on with their lives because, like I said, I've been missing in action. So all those people that you know, they are caregivers, have d- decided to make this commitment to their families. Um, know that their decision to be good to someone should not be a detriment to them. So you, the people surrounding them, their media family, their friends, thank you for being considerate and thank you for helping in the least bit of time and being encouraging. They need it. Okay, now that's past. We done got past all of that. My main thing I wanted to focus on today was In Touch Radio and the radio shows. Yes. I was tuned in this morning, and I just felt full. I was proud. I heard um, quite a few shows, but I heard two of my favorite men in Tampa Bay. And you know I'm a Kappa sweetheart to my heart. (laughs) And they are Kappa men, intelligent black Fine men. They got wives, girls, so calm down. You know, I fix you up with somebody else. Not them. Anyway, these Kappa men are not only attorneys, but they are a student in the community, and they have a show. Well, Clinton Paris has a show with a guy they like to call the professor called Straight Up the Middle, and Clinton has a tendency to run things. Now, it started <laughs> off he wasn't running things. He came in as the third party, but we look up. Clinton is running things, but that's what leaders do. 
Right, right. So I thank Clint Paris, who's right here with me. Clint. Good morning, Tammy. How you doing? Good I'm afternoon good. to good. you and all the people out there listening. Mm-hmm. I always wonder what happened when I leave the studio. I see what's going on. Well, I, I, get, um, I come in here and play with my man. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I talk hear about, you. And look, I hear and I talk you. about your ass, Uh-oh. too. <laughs> if I get a chance to. Well, but it's listen, usually compliments. Well, thank you very much, because mm-hmm. I mean, you all are an inspiration to so many people in this community, and I thank you for the opportunity to be on the radio, to get some things off my chest sometime. Yeah. Uh, it, it is really one of the things I look forward to all week to create a let go, and I really know, uh, you know, uh, success is at hand because I can come here and see your success and all that you all have done. Listen, mm-hmm. y'all have done a great job. I mean, I go back to your Juneteenth event and, <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. I that, remember that. Yeah, I remember that. You yeah. remember Juneteenth? Yeah, buddy, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. And so almost, look, it listen. couldn't pay the house note the next month. Listen, <laughs> when no, look, but when nobody else was trying to celebrate Juneteenth, you all were leading this community yeah. and now we have a number of Juneteenth events yes, that go do. on every year. So you all should be recognized for all the things that you all are doing in this community and I thank you for the opportunity to be on the air. And Clint, you brought in one of my other favorite favorite me and Mr. Ed Moraine, Noraine Kappa, husband to Monica. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's the best yeah. part of me. Yeah, I know <laughs> uh, it is, because yeah, yeah, yeah. every man need a woman in his yeah, bed yeah. nightly <laughs> to keep him satisfied. You know, scripture ahead, says yeah. everybody's supposed Go to ahead. have their own you wife, okay? Nightly. Hey, <laughs> nightly. Because <laughs> you, you might not get everything <laughs> every night, but you might <laughs> get it every other night or every <laughs> two nights. Now, the Duke, the Duke wife, she said, what, four times a week? What she say last week? Women should be having sex with their husband at least four times a, a week. week to start. Hey, That's where you start at. Now, hey, I thought it was every <laughs> other night. But, uh-huh. Nah, uh-huh. That's just how you get not, 19 kids, though. Well, you know <laughs> I had four, so hey. <laughs> <laughs> I was working on 19. Listen, I had to Nancy. fix myself. Oh, uh, Lord, Lord. We're not Lord, talking Lord. about politics right. anymore, are we? No, 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 no. we're talking about the good life. I'm it, trying to figure right. out where we've been. Yeah, right. yeah, you fit right in here. You living right. the good life with a good wife. Yes. And we're going to talk about that good wife, too. Okay. Ed, what that good wife doing? Well, she just did something really good at her school. She Uh-oh, started Darryl, a you blink it out. Okay, there you go. go ahead. She started a closing clo- clothing closet for the kids at the uh, West Tampa Elementary School. So uh, those kids were getting ready to go to junior achievement. She noticed that all they had were right. their school uniforms that they could wear. They didn't actually have um, professional dress clothing. So okay. she decided that that was never going to be an issue for those kids again. And she got all her friends from, you know, Jack and Jill and AKA and all the right. different organizations that she's that a she's part, part of, of. Mm-hmm. the church, everybody to donate um, their kids old clothes. Mm-hmm. And those kids walked into that clothing closet like it was a professional department store. Like it was Macy's or did or somebody. And she yeah. did it. It looks nice. Yeah. Really sharp. And it was great to see her on on, on, the, on the, the news, news with mm-hmm. getting the notoriety for that. You know, yeah. uh, that's a tough school to be at. Oh, yeah. And she, oh, I mean, listen, she does a great job. Fancy and fly. Oh, it's called <laughs> Fancy and Fly. She called it Fancy and Fly, and the kids love it. I know that's right. Now, Ed Noreen, yes. I was uh, worried at first. I was thinking, okay, Monica married to Ed Noreen and got two babies. Is mm-hmm. she just going to be Ed's wife? Oh, no. She's <laughs> never been just uh, my wife. Hey, that's there what I'm go. saying. No, I was fighting that because at one point, I was just Daryl Johnson's wife. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, they, they, early I, in the day, I was Daryl Johnson's <laughs> wife in Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. You still Daryl Johnson's wife. Yeah, well, I, you know. but babe, I'm more than just Daryl Johnson's wife. We have our uh, own identities as well as being submissive to you. You always, always had your and own identity. I feel identity. like we, there's no room for us. <laughs> no, I mean, baby, you know, I, I just, don't squirt me with any oil while uh, I'm standing. Just, right, well, just tap me when it's time for me to leave, and well, I'll be happy to step no, out. You no, know, no, no, um, because I'm going to talk about Samantha. Oh, don't play. Now, he is married to Samantha, one of our power couples who have supported the power couples ball every year and i love to call clint our first black male <laughs> oh, i've been Lord. saying that for years yeah, you're in saying... a bad city though if you look up and i'm the male <laughs> oh i believe i believe in good things they was yeah. it was a stretch when they thought ed in the rain was running like we yeah. haven't heard of ed in the rain yeah, well, 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 let's, let's just let's just say that the first black male is probably going to be a capo Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Ain't about that. One yeah. of the yeah. other, huh? One There's of the no other. There's no doubt about yeah. that. Tampa's uh, definitely a Kappa town, though. Uh, Always wait, has been. Wait a minute. I'm a Kappa sweetheart, and I love my Kappa man. But I hate to tell y'all. He definitely get mad, because I'm going to tell the truth. Well, what's the he's truth? cute to bad in Tampa Bay. Oh, Man, at the Power Couple's ball, there are more cues. Don't be making me mute your mic, baby. This is your show. Don't mute my mic. But let's be truth tellers in everything that we do. Let's be truth tellers. So what you're saying? The Omegas represent. 
men in Tampa Bay. Oh, no, no doubt about oh, yeah, that. Listen, do. and I would say do. this, all I think, all the Greek organizations, I think I could be proud to do, do a phenomenal job. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean the Kappas don't. Because okay. I can go to a courthouse, mm. I can go down to the county commission, I can go to a lot of different facilities from, from the hospitals, and you see Kappas standing in great. And there are other uh, yeah. groups represented there as well, and I, I commend yeah. them. We all support and drive each other to yes. be great, I think, That's right. because of that. Nothing but, like an educated black man that Never has mind. a back and backup team already with him. That's what well, I like. Well, so you, you, you support team. Yes. Yes. First, you yes. got to get out more, baby, so you can see all these Kappa brothers. <laughs> baby, that are I see doing them stuff. Kappa brothers. Yeah. I love You're those just talking Kappa. about the power couples, boy. Uh, we sure yes. do appreciate their support. I'm Don't telling get me wrong. you. I'm we really you. want some Sigmas to step out in the Now, nah, the they have truly disappeared. Are they eating right? Are they even here? I'm joking. I'm joking. Jeffrey just ran for office. Oh, there you go. Jeffrey Rose or Sigma. Jeffrey Rose or Sigma. But he lost to a Kappa. He did. <laughs> well, you know. Joking, just joking. Yeah. No, that's the truth. It no, could be no, a no. joke, but it's the truth. Look. The, the, the reporter that did the story about uh, Rod, Monica. Rod's Rod a Sigma. Yeah, that's sigma. correct. He's a Sigma. Yes, yeah. he is a Sigma. You got Jermaine Y'all Hankerson. Sigmas, y'all, y'all need to step sigmas up. Y'all have things. been silent. I'm going to call it the and, silent and, and, and of course, in Tampa Bay. And of course, I'm surprised. Mike Dove, who oh, yeah. does the uh, radio mm-hmm. show that follows you, Cover Two Conversation. Oh, he's a Sigma. They're going to beat me up. Uh-huh. So well, they're around. Look, well, let's just see if we can get them to get one table at the ball and at maybe, least one take do, do they have women though do they have wives can they keep their women are they women not, uh, do they you know, women that's, marry that's, them and leave that's probably a whole nother radio show you wrong, wrong. that's a setup. well you I'm know a, the general rule Kappas don't talk about other people's wives oh well I'm not a Kappa I'm just a Kappa sweetheart I can talk not, about not anything I want to do uh, Cheryl Kiso I can hear you what did you just say so I understand that? oh you read lips you read those lips Cheryl Oh, she's having to be up to 50. Her husband must be a Sigma or something. Uh-oh, they, I don't Are know. you married to a Sigma Cuso? Oh, she just stepped out. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. Cheryl Cuso is our girl, honey. She has a radio show here, too. And I Let's go- Talk Business. Hey. Wednesdays at 11, no, 1231. So, oh, look, PM, you have a great twelve thirty-one. Yes, we do. I am so proud of it. And you know who I'm proud of most of all? Daryl Jones was sitting around here making it out. Hey, get your own self Get your own butt. Get your own butt. Get some round of applause. Babe, I'm not giving it though. This is a visionary. I, you know, when I was, I'm so thankful Daryl came to me. Uh, you know, probably about six months before I was I had the opportunity to come on the show and saying that he would like for me to come over and, mm-hmm. and, and do something. And I'll tell you, look, it's been great. It's a professional. This way you run. belong. It's a beautiful setup. It's well done. The technology. I, I think that the, the vision, Daryl. I've, oh, I've yeah. sat with Daryl and talked about the, which is I think the most important thing is that you vision. need in anything. Because mm-hmm. if you don't know where you're going, you end up someplace else. <laughs> you need to have a vision for where you're going. And I, I really, I really applaud you all in that. And Daryl running the, the technical stuff. I mean, I just thought he did yeah. deliver the mail. I just thought he got the mail. He just got our mail there on time. There we go. He got the computers and all the stuff working Well, you got in. to realize my man has never de- delivered the mail in his whole life. He has always he, he been the deliver. boss, baby. Yeah, he got it. B-O-S-S. He delivers no. the message. Yes. yes. No, he yes. makes it get delivered. And yes. He a great and job he loves, he loves uh, You know, I, I've been a part of other shows and I've been in other studios. This is a very professional Absolutely. setup. Awesome. And you run it well. Um, I'm just, I'm just uh, elated, and I, I have a ball being in here on Saturday morning. Good, really good. Make sure. And if you're white, bring her sometimes. Yeah, well, you know bring what? Bring Samantha sometimes. This is reality Ten. radio where everyone Ten. is a star. You what can't you run everything. I, <laughs> just, you know. Bring you know Samantha. What? Samantha and Monica you know, will have I, a great I, show together. Because I, 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 mm-hmm. I, I brought my daughter. Mm-hmm. I brought my son. Mm-hmm. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Your better half. I will, I'm going to bring her in, you know, to give her an opportunity to participate as well. And, yeah. And comment. You know, her, her strength is not, you know, going into... Uh, opinions and things that that's just not her her area and that's why she's probably not been I hate to tell you I don't know an area Samantha doesn't care Samantha is a prayer warrior too yes yeah if I have a problem or if I see something I think needs to be addressed I will call Samantha and I can call Samantha to my house and she will come and we can pray things off and pray things away. So that is a wonderful, well, you speak strong to a, woman. a key dynamic. And I, I would say, you know, any young man thinking about marrying a wife, that you have a list of virtues that you want to make sure that, that your wife has, that hopefully it can amplify what you are and inspire you to be a greater person. She definitely comes off good stock with uh, Deacon Coleman and mm-hmm. their family that founded uh, uh, New Hope. They, they're mm-hmm. founders of that church That's right. uh, over 75 years ago. But you're right about that. She is absolutely all the things that you said. 
Uh, but I will make sure we get her. Matter of fact, I need to get her in. We jump on your show. How about that? You can jump on her. anything you want because you I'll got it like in. that. I'll bring her in and we get on a, get on and talk. But I think you've got a great lineup uh, of shows, of topics. Uh, what, but what kind of new stuff y'all got out there that y'all think? Well, you know what? Here's something we love to roll out next year maybe. What? Go ahead. I know I'm asking you, though, because you're a visionary. Oh, I'm already going to tell you uh, something I've been wanting to work on, but I've been missing in action, is my power couples. Every week I want a new power couple on my show. Okay. So I seem like I don't have time to handle that. Now, when you say power couple, you're talking the actual power couple, just couples who you feel are power couples. Well, first of all, I want to deal with my 50 that host tables every year. Okay. I want to give them a chance to be on the forefront with okay. their foundations, with their accomplishments, yes, with right. their dreams yes. and their aspirations. And one person I was truly motivated by that I know could do a great show, they kind of hinted they were thought, thinking about it. She called in today on your show. Who was it? Oh. Oh, oh, Monica, Monica, Monica yes, Harris. Monica Harris and Keith Harris. Yes. I think they could have an awesome show. You so talking I'm about a power to, couple? Yes. Oh, and yes. then the energy that they have in the the um, well, let me see the sense of humor that mm. Keith uh, possesses. And, 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 and they do a podcast regarding mental health issues. See, they, they are such a powerful group. Mm-hmm. Uh, the two of them, they really would, I think, do a great show. They need and, to be and, right and, here. So we're going to drag Monica. So Monica's going to be coming in to co-host with me. I got a couple yeah. weeks. Ah! Left. So I didn't drag, even know. I'm going to drag her in here to co-host with me. She's agreed to do that. Well, and she ain't going to stay with you long because she's going to do a show with her man. <laughs> she already easy. doing a show with a man. She's going to get up position like, hey, and I, keep I this don't ready. Do, I don't mess with ready. people's wives. Well, okay. let, me tell you, let, me, let me tell you this. In, in July, <laughs> in, in July we've got, we've got uh, a show. It's it's a law law of attraction show, okay, uh, by Mark Cosby. So that'll be starting uh, the first week of Who July. Who is Mark wow, Cosby? Where is he? That? That's all right there. Mark Cosby is a gentleman from Tampa Bay area. Well, he he he's a transplant, so he's been here a few years, not not that many. Okay, but he's going to do a show on law on the law of attraction. Well, see, yeah. when you go there, that takes me somewhere else. I want to say thank you very much to Kirk, a friend of ours who came in from Cambridge, New Jersey. Okay, yes. is, was it Cambridge? Uh, no, Camden. it's, it's ca- ca- uh, Camden, Camden, C-A-M-D-E-N. Camden, 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 New Jersey, in, uh, introduced us to a real nice gentleman that's doing the show here. A it's great called Power show. Moves, and yes. his name is Joel Silva. Well, let me ask Man, you. got a great but show. I would like to know, and I mean, I'm, I don't want to take it, but how do y'all come with these ideas for these different, I mean, these are they such They come needed. to us, baby, and you really? have to be open to receive it. When it's out there and they see it and they have these dreams in their hearts, if they feel comfortable, I'm spitting, if they feel comfortable, they will step forward. And we have to be open to receive them. And yeah. Joel, Joel was just that guy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, because I think historically you all have created that environment just around you in general. Tammy, oh, that, I like the to try. T- Tammy, I want to give you some etiquette. What? Stop speaking. No, no. no. <laughs> Slow down. The, the, the queen <laughs> finally gives permission for the subjects to sit down and they're still standing. Uh, baby, please Queen, would you no, please no, give no, them we, permission? They're they, they <laughs> no, trying to no, run out. Yeah, you know, we, these are right for me. Listen, we stacked up for that. Yeah, I like the way they're standing <laughs> up over here. I'm about to get beat up when <laughs> I get up. We could we, we, no, no, get I, real bad, baby. This is an opportunity to participate with Tammy this morning for a minute. I really am so grateful not only for the show opportunity, but your friendship and all that you do in this community. And y'all, you know what? I miss the party. I was so mad when I realized I missed oh, the party. Yeah. Yes. Well, I can't yeah, put that on radio because everybody yeah. didn't get invited. We don't want no tape. problems. Yes, I'm they so were. Sorry. Everybody was invited. Oh, okay. Every, listen, so you may not got an invitation mailed to you. It was open to the public. Listen, well, I didn't get an invitation mailed to me either, and I knew yeah. I was invited. Yes. So yeah, there you go. It's an inner go. thing. It's an inner yes, thing. Yes, yes. Yeah, I know. First of all, I know I belonged there. You know where uh. you belong. And sometimes you're saying, no one invited me. You know where you belong. People go where they want to go. They do what they want to do, and they spend their money like they want to spend. So yes. I don't want to hear that. If you right. really want to be there and you know you've been good to them, they've been good to you, you know where you belong. No, and we, we're not the kind of people that, that measure people by minuscule, momentary things that you may do. Mm-hmm. I look at the total contribution, and, and I just think <laughs> no, that's right. I was a young college graduate getting out my car next door to your, your house and Daryl ah. walked over and started talking to me. And I, I he didn't know me for me. I just got out the car. And I, I was walking. See, but you I, know I, I, walking. I don't even remember that. I, I remember that like you, you was outside the yard. I got out the car and he started, he walked right over and, and started talking I to me. And now I must tell you something I remember Daryl said about you. Oh. He said. Then that's like what, what, 92, oh. 93? Years ago, <laughs> before you married Samantha. Yes, that's about 92. He said, I can only hope our daughters will find right. a man like him. 
Well, it looked oh, like they did. You don't remember I, I saying that? I said that. Yeah. Look, you got he was sitting at church had at I, New Hope I had with been, her. I had been drinking. Man. No, no. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you at church. Dang. Look, you at oh, church with all your drinking, children. He had been drinking at church. <laughs> I've been drinking some of Look, some of that Oh, it was left over from Saturday night. Oh, yeah. Man. You were sitting at church on the pew, and he had Talk his arm up. around Samantha. And oh, really? Yeah. Paul had Miss Missy had Paul. Okay. Uh -huh. And okay. Clint, you had Samantha. And Daryl said, I can only hope that our daughters meet some men like wow. they got. Well, you so got he liked so you. Now, all I, I, I from met Jones your son in law. That. You've got some great son in laws. I sure did get blessed. I mean, yeah, just, we, just we got one away. more. We got one more coming. We got one I, more to go. I, I, for my I, oldest, I, I, Cassidy right. Ann, my uh, mini me. Right, uh -huh. right. And she is picky, and she has a right to be. Um, and she's different, and she is hyper, and she is smart, and she has so many things that might be too much for a man that without confidence. You're a strong man. Yeah, Better you got to come on with it. But you got to be able to fold and bend and move like the fall. Got to be making three. some money, too, because yeah, she's well, sure making some. Well, yeah, but, you know, I don't, I, <laughs> see, and I don't judge like that. I, you don't have to be making money. Let, let you get with me, you going to make some money. Hey, hey, listen, you say you're a girl. No, you get with the right daughter, woman, you going to make some money. be secure Yeah, and I get careful. that. I know, oh, I get that. We're going to go back that. to that one yeah. uh, salary, in, one, one income. Yep. Hello. No, okay. no, it's I know it will happen. When the, uh, behind every good man is a what? Strong woman. So yes. if you have the propensity, the ambition, or whatever, this is the woman, the anchor that's going to allow you the confidence and the time huh, to right. go ahead and do what you need but to I do. But I think oh, that yeah. you know the the balance of a, the, of a good relationship is one where people are equally yoked and equally whatever, whatever, yoked. whatever. And it don't mean making the that, same amount of money at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it we manifests it itself, it, it should it it it, it comes Wait a minute, because I that. gotta break Daryl Johnson down right now. Oh, when oh, I oh, met you, you were no big money man. I knew a whole lot of men making more money. Yeah, but let I want to tell you something. Jones. Go ahead, let go me ahead. tell you something. Period. Listen. He worked for the post office. I might That's not a have been big job, money, but, you but it was a good government. I said yes. government <laughs> job. Okay. okay, I'll take that. Yes. I'll take that. But when Kendall and uh, Calvin, our diplomats, uh, our State Department representatives across the world got married, guess what? They were both unemployed. Yes. And people mm -hmm. say, what do they do? I never word a day because I they, believe. But again, they were equally yoked and ambitious, sure. yeah. right? And that's all. And I, and I thank and that you, balance. Clint. Yes. I remember what you did, y'all. Yeah. Let me tell you what Clint and oh, Samantha boy. did. <laughs> they didn't have to do that. It was the for their honeymoon. Yeah, they rented the hotel. They sure did. Went prepared oh, the room. Yes, they Sp did. Honey, didn't y'all sprinkle rose petals and have something <laughs> Man, waiting for them to drink? Yes. They went to the room. Yes. Out. I mean, okay. you, you going to well, let, let, don't that, let they, they, they didn't get, we didn't ask for that. Kendall yes. didn't ask for that. Oh, Tammy yeah. didn't solicit that. That was a gift from that, the that's, heart. Those are the best that, that's Samantha, and that's how her vision. And, and but anyway, they're yes. a good couple. They're a beautiful young and couple. So and, 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 and look, yeah. that's but exactly why finance. you have to have a better. Because I wouldn't have thought of that. Mm -hmm. You know, you didn't think of that. Right. Samantha, absolutely. Did. She and wait a minute, that. Clint Paris. When yeah. Samantha married Clint, he had a job. He worked for Allstate. Yeah, State yeah, Farm. State, State Farm. The big company. Wait a minute, but you worked for Allstate too. Did you work for both? Oh, you As were a from lawyer, State I did some legal work when I was a, a defense attorney when I graduated law school. With but, all but State. undergrad, I, I worked for State Farm. Mm -hmm. All right. So he left State Farm and went to college. Went Who to supported him? I mean, went to law school. We just used all the money I had made before I went to law school. <laughs> but still, she had to hold on. Lockdown. She had to hold down. Look at I don't know about that. You the man. You the man. You must be a careful man. You, <laughs> you know you're going to get beat up when you get home, right? I could not have done that, though, without the support. Absolutely, though, Tammy. So it's been great to be in here with you. It's hills and valleys. Look at him trying to run out of here. Trying to run out of here. Trying to I, got, run I, got, out of here. I got two more appointments to make. I make them, baby. I appreciate the opportunity to be in here with the one. Thank you again for sticking around, Thank you all very much for having me today. And I'm going to get Samantha. We're going to do your show. Yeah. Okay. Now, wait a minute. Stetson Law School, if you want to attend Stetson, who do they call? They call Clinton Paris. Oh, oh God, dog. No. And, and I, the I rain, might write a letter. I don't know. Well, right. for all the letters that y'all have I would agree. Come. Anybody who think you might want to go to law school, I am always open and willing to talk with you about it and see if, you know, if it's, it's truly something you want to do and if I can help you get to talk well. to, you need to talk to Sunshine. And we're going to leave that right there where it yeah, is. Yeah, she's been debating that. Right, right. Yeah. We're going to leave, yeah. yeah. leave that I, where I it think is. her, her, her mm. life shows she has consistently made the right decisions for her.
I and I know that. she will with that too. Okay. All right, Tammy. I love right, y'all. Thank y'all for, Thank y'all for hanging out. All right, Tammy. Okay, y'all everybody. have a great day. All right. And look, I'm waiting for your day with Monica now. <laughs> Just let us know. Okie dokie. Are you playing Atomic Dog right now? No, the cue song? That sound like it. <laughs> I can work some All Atomic right. Dog. Tell your girlfriend not to turn up the TV. Tampa Bay Tammy and the rest of the family. Packing every chair, stars from everywhere. It don't get no better than this. She's insane. Tampa Bay Tammy talk show off the chain. Incredibly, she will not be here to talk of the town, so check it. And if you don't know, Tina New Host will know she come to wreck it. It's a... Hey, this is Miss K with K's Kitchen, where we're cooking Chicago-style fried chicken and fish with the authentic Chicago-style mouth sauce. Come check us out at our new restaurant located at 3320 East Osborne Avenue in the Jackson Heights area. We have a brand new menu, which includes whole wings, catfish, pizza puffs, and much more. Call us at 813-368-5196. Again, that number is 813-368-5196. See you soon. To reality radio, everyone is a star. I know that's right. On your smooth soul and R&B station. On the World Wide Web. Access, Access granted. granted. In Touch Radio. Hey, we're back, y'all. <sighs> it feels good. It's just you and I, Daryl. It is. We're waiting on none other than a chick by the name of Michelle Williams. She's supposed to be coming into the studio today. I'm all excited about it. Some people call uh, she call herself Missy Boo Boo or Kitty Boo Boo. Kitty Boo Boo. She got a lot of names for herself. But right now she is doing some things in the community. She always is doing she always doing things in the Ask community. Ask Michelle. So we are going to uh, get with her on that. But before that, I want to talk about some more sisters in the community, sisters that I'm appreciative of. That worked with the In Touch and has been working with us for years, not for the show, not when we just got big, but just always there in the cut, ready and willing to help. And the first chick is Janelle McGregor. Now, Janelle McGregor works for the mayor. Janelle McGregor is a chick that... Um, was introduced to us through my daughter, Cassidy. So we've been dealing with Michelle McGregor over 10 years. Yeah, yeah, for at least 10 years because uh, when we lost Braxton. Oh, it's been longer than 10 years. I don't know. I don't know, but I know it came with Cassidy, and I know Cassidy took over the uh, newspaper when we lost Brack and gave me a chance to go be with you. Oh, okay. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. So, yeah and she been, used to drop years. the papers off downtown to Janelle, and Janelle distributed, like, <clears throat> at least 200 papers in the police department. Uh, okay. She would take it up to the high rise and distribute it there. And I really appreciate that. Well, you know, about a, at least 100, mm-hmm. about a stack. Mm-hmm. It was two stacks back then because it was in stacks of 50. So she would deliver them in there and make sure they were distributed in a position where the officers could see it and pick it up. She didn't have to do that. I could call her on the phone and she would come down to the car and grab them and help. So she has always had a spirit of service and loyalty to um, the community. So I thank you, Janelle McGregor. And I'm proud to say she has a new position with the mayor, Jane Castor. Um, Not only did Jane Castor take care of Janelle McGregor, she also picked up a chick by the name of... Ebony. Cruise. And her show comes on before mine. So you may have heard it earlier. It was a rerun because she is so busy, but she has called and said, Hey, I want my show. I'm doing my show. I will be back. Kind of like the Terminator, but better. And officially, she has just responded saying that she is back. 
Oh, okay, okay. Her um, their positions is like community liaison. So if it's something going on in the community you want the mayor to know about, then if you contact one of them, they will try to make sure they know or make sure she's there or participate. They'll probably be the ones reading the pop proclamations if she can't make it. Because, you know, it's a lot with being the mayor. So they can't be at every little uh, black event, every little white event, every little Italian event, every little Latin event. She has to be everywhere. She's everyone's mayor, not just ours. So we have to watch ourselves because we get caught up like that sometimes. You know, we get all into ourselves and our feelings about what's important to us, and we forget about everyone else. But this, Jane Castor is blessed to have a Janelle McGregor and an Ebony Cruz who's going to make sure that the African-American community is still included and it's still, uh, and that Jane knows what's going on and important to us. So y'all give a big round of applause right now for Janelle McGregor and Ebony Cruz. <laughs> One thing I forgot to say about Ebony Cruz is she got her beginning. When I first met Ebony, she was with WTMP. And we both had worked with TMP, so we were glad to meet each other and see each other. And she was so complimentary. I didn't see a jealous bone in her body. And I've since seen her whole shows, and she's always great. Her personality is always pleasant. She's a homeowner. She's a mother. She is, uh, she got it going on. She my girl. So I'm proud of you, girl. Do your thing. Uh, we got Father's Day coming up. And Y'all, we have to remember that fathers are just as important as mothers. Some of you are absentee fathers. I hate it. I wish you could regroup, put, change your mind, forgive, <laughs> go on home, and be with your family. I know it's not perfect. It never is. The relationship between Daryl and I has never, always been perfect. I just forgive quickly, and so does he. We say what we want to say. We cuss each other out. And everybody don't think that's the way you do it, but it's fine with me. I get it off my chest. And <laughs> five minutes later, I'm like, baby, what, what do you want to eat? It's over. You all have got to learn to relax, relate, release, let go. Let go, let God. Holding grudges only gets you divorced. Holding grudges only gets you separated. Holding grudges only divides and conquer. And most of all, holding grudges leave you with some bitter children oftentimes because the children need both parents and they need to see the love. So the biggest thing of all, I think one of the most important things in life is forgiveness. Being able to forgive gets you to heaven right here on earth. So Father's Day, fathers, you say you haven't heard from your child and I don't know why he called me and he act funny when I call and he don't want to hear from me. Yes, he does. Yes, she does. You're the adult. They're the child. They're emotional. They have these feelings. Deal with it. You went on, did what you wanted to do. Now it's time for you to come back and be the father. Some of you were young. You didn't know any better, but now that you know better, you do better. Father's Day. Be the father you're supposed to do. Be. Mothers, quit running the daddies off because he don't want you. He didn't want you when you laid with him. You knew it. You thought that was going to get him. Oh, shame on you. Let it go. You made a mistake. He is still the daddy. Let him be the daddy. He want the girl on the other side of town and no, won't, don't want you? So what? Let your son enjoy his father. Let your daughter enjoy their father. Let it go. Get you a new man. There's so many out there. And the minute you let go, you can get a new one. But, hey, don't jump into the sack too quick. Let them get to know you so they can love you. To know you is to love you. Okay, that was just one mistake. It's Father's Day. Let the fathers be fathers. Now, I hear a lot, I'm sure there are a lot of events going on for Father's Day. But the event that I have going on or that we have going on is the Al Haliki Father Son Golf Outing. Now, the Al Haliki Father Son Golf Outing will take place at Rogers Park Golf Course right here in Tampa Bay, in the heart of Tampa Bay. It's a historically um, black golf course and it's not necessarily black but i'm gonna say black because it's named after a black man so uh i think the black man uh, gave the land or something you know we have a tendency to give our land away and not get any money <laughs> i've seen that with schools and everything else and later on i'll be thinking dang why they didn't get paid something but whatever rogers park golf course is where the event would take place and al haliki is the gentleman we named it after and the reason we named it after al haliki is because 
Al Haliki was a great uh, sub father for my son, Braxton Daryl Johnson. Now, when I say sub father, I mean when Daryl was at work and uh, at another event, Al Haliki was coaching the team and he had a son by the name of Justin Haliki. And Brack went right along with Justin. He has a son. Let's get it right. He has a son named Justin Haliki, and Braxton went right along with uh, Al and uh, Justin and Carol. They took care of my baby like he was their baby. And the beautiful thing is, you know, he, they weren't black like me. They were white. They were the other persuasion, but they loved him like he was theirs. And uh, it changed my son. It changed the soul, and it changed us. We learned that everything wasn't black and white and that we could love, be loved, and love other people of other nationalities without the stress or strain or distrust because it's still there. Y'all can try to act like it ain't, but a lot of us are going through that, and it's become more aware since Trump has come out because he openly uh, says things, uh, shown those kind of behaviors. But we want to know that, want you to know that we are all God's children and that we can, we can, we can live as one full of love. And the Halikis and I are like that. So the Al Haliki Father Son Golf Outing is at Rogers Park Golf Course every Father's Day weekend, the Saturday before Father's Day. So it may not always be at the golf course, but it'll always be Father's Day weekend. And we want you to join us. Now, if you don't play golf, so what? Here's a day for you to come out and learn. You never played Come on out and try it. $25 and you will eat. It will be dinner provided. Or, well, not dinner. Well, it is dinner because it starts at 12. From noon until 6, mm -hmm. it's nine holes. Only nine holes. So if you don't know the game, you can learn the game. We will have some guys out there that will help you, will teach you, will walk you through. It's a no-stress day. A fun, fun day. day. Yeah. Your child can feel no stress. And who knows? You might, Your son may be the nice next Tiger Woods. But he'll never know if you never put a golf club in his hands. And he may never play again. But give him a chance. Give him an opportunity to even see if he likes the game. And if you don't have a son, or if you have a son and a daughter, or if you got more than two, bring, bring them, them to. Yeah. And if you're, you know, there are a lot of young men out here who do not, who do not have fathers. And this is an opportune time to include them in your world and let them experience the game of golf. They say deals are made on the golf course. Introduce them early and see if they like it. How do you know? This may be their way to college. There are scholarships for college all the time, golf scholarships. It's just a game changer. It's a game that can be a game changer in their lives. So come to the Father-Son Golf Outing on Saturday. What is it, June 15th? 15th. Mm -hmm. what, what's so important about that day? Other than that, Tammy, can you think? Can, you just, just, just help me out. It's out. 39th wedding anniversary. 39 years. But I, I don't know how it could be 39 years. Let me see. Hold up. Wait so, a minute. Wait a minute. There it is, y'all. I don't see how it could be 39 years because I thought I was 39 years old. Yeah, I I, I got you right out of the womb, baby. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I didn't think I was that old. How could I be married 39 Straight years? Straight out of the womb, baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, you 39. 39 years. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's our anniversary, so we're going to do the father-son golf out and join us. We're going to have a good time that day. Bring yeah. your children. And, you know. and you, you'll see it on Eventbrite. You can go to our In Touch news page and, and, and find it there. Um, and, oh, you can also call uh, Tammy at 813-842-3212. Call me at 813-404-5287. You're rolling through those numbers because really and truly, if you know us and you have them in your phone. You already got it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ask a friend. We're not so private and we're not untouchable. Yeah. That's why we are in touch. So we would love for you to join us. And we want to see a change in the family, um, the family unit. We want to see. Well, some of you need a change. Not all of you do. But those that do, let's go for it. Let's help each other change. Happy Father's Day. And, and we're doing it to, uh, to raise funds for the Braxton Darrell Johnson Foundation. Um, where we provide scholarships, we provide the last mile scholarship. So if your son is in college and only has a year to go and struggling to finish, we'll pay for it. We want him to finish. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, we want him to be a productive citizen uh, in the United States or over the world. We just want you able to make a dollar. And I, it's not that we just believe college is the only way because it's not. 
Don't get caught up. But for those that are, are in college, we want to help you finish because it is a way. And, and, and it's just, been a good way for us and our family. Just so you know, the last mile scholarship covers the last year or last semester of, of college. So yes. j- just just know that. Yeah. Uh, but I have another scholarship uh, that I want to mention. It's called the Eddie Session Foundation. It's called the Eddie Session Foundation Scholarship. Who is Eddie Session? I don't, I, I don't know, but who somebody, told you about uh, it? Uh, 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 Miss D, the job coach. Okay. Uh, and she, it, it, the deadline is June twenty first. Ooh, for, it's coming up this, on them. It's coming up on them. So if you're graduating high school senior or freshman in college. Okay, high school uh, senior freshman, you can apply uh, for this deg- this uh, or scholarship. Or if you're a first generation college student. You can enroll. Uh, it says, "Are you enrolled full time?" Okay. Now, so it's two questions. So, so you can apply today to eddysessionfoundation.org. dot org. And we'll give it to them again. eddysessionfoundation.org. dot org. And session Eddie. is S E S S I O N. That is correct. Okay. E D D I E session S E S S I O N foundation dot org. You have until June nine. June. I'm sorry. June twenty first. Uh oh. Uh, twenty nineteen to apply for the scholarship. I don't know what it, how much it is. Okay. But you have to be a graduating high school senior or freshman. So I know that. Temperance is a graduating high school senior, um, um, and he needs to apply for this uh, scholarship. And Nicholas. And, and Nicholas. Michael Davis and Michael Davis, child. Yes, you, yeah. you need to Eddie apply. Eddie Sessions Foundation. Foundation. Dot org. Org. Not dot com. Yeah. Let's, so, because, you know, we think of websites, we automatically think dot com. So, remember, it's not dot com. It's dot org. Absolutely. And org stands for, how you remember, why is org? Yeah, organization. Yeah. So, Eddie Session foundation.org is offering scholarships Absolutely. for you. If and it doesn't matter well, how much it is. You just need to apply for it because believe me, if it's $500, you, you can need use it. it. Yeah. And a lot of times uh, people if don't seem 5, to know. If you need it. A lot of people don't seem to realize that when you get a scholarship, they take the money. The school, it goes to an account and they take the money that is needed for you to pay. What's left over goes to your bank account. Yes. So you can live off it. Unless it's specific. It can be specific. Unless it's specifically for tuition or specifically for or books. books right. Okay. Yeah, so you need a little bit left over. Okay. Most of them, once they give it to you, whatever's left over is left in your account. I learned that from my, my children. And all of them went to college. So Kendall had scholarships to come in, and um, she even had one for, she had a bright future. She kept money. And she, yeah, it, it helped she kept her. kept a scholarship coming in from somewhere. Mm-hmm. It saved us a lot because... Mm-hmm. I had to come out of pocket with only social things like running for Miss This or yeah. want to go here Other and spend that, the money. She, she was good. She was good. Mm-hmm. And she we were on talking campus. about that earlier today with uh, with with uh, Clint's kid who what? graduated from IB. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and IB Ed's is the kid, International Baccalaureate, baccalaureate program. program. It's an international, and, and international Ed, Baccalaureate uh, program. Ed and Lorraine's kids are in IB. You know, they have IB in in uh, elementary Other countries. Now. What? Yes, yes. So 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 the kids now are It's his like kids, Clue. Yeah, like we yeah. had Clue. His Cooperative kids are Leadership NIB for Urban right Education. Now. Uh, yeah. so it's it's you just can't beat it. When I say like Clue, well Clue was for urban education, making sure blacks get that lift up. <laughs> but this is more um I, it just mean advanced. Yeah. Gifted students, smart, extra smart students so they don't become bored with uh, you know the basics. It gave him a little bit more to think about. I was included. And surprisingly enough, uh, uh, the kids Johnny Turner, shout it. out. You made me who I am. You helped me. Give me the confidence. Johnny Turner. Johnny Turner was is my clue teacher. Alive? Yes, she is. Wow. I love you, Johnny Turner. Shout out Memphis, Tennessee. Johnny hey, Turner. Hamilton Elementary, wow. baby. Man, yeah. you're going way back. Mm-hmm. Ms. Robinson. Okay. <laughs> you talking about the The one that rang. We were scared. We Red were terrified head. of her. Well, she oh, had that red head, didn't And she? ringing that bell, good yeah. Lord. And pain, and just, we were late. Here we come running oh, up the lake, yeah. three girls. <laughs> <laughs> Walking to school with our pants on. You yeah. could not wear, we had to wear dresses to school. Right. She did not, we could not wear pants. We had to learn how to sit like ladies. She did not play. Do you know? We only wear pants in the wintertime to keep our legs from being cold, and we had to pull them off when we got there. Let me tell you something. When Tony LaShawn Johnson, she was our, our, our next door neighbor for a mm-hmm. number of years on Wabash Avenue, but she sent out a picture of us uh, at a birthday party. This was Karen Seymour's birthday party. Oh. Now, I, now, I don't know if I was She there. said it was her birthday yeah, party. It was, her. So, it was so, Tony's no, birthday she, party. She did have a couple of pictures. One was Karen 
Karen Seymour's birthday party, and then one was Tony Lashawn's party. So I was on one of the pictures. I wasn't on the other one because I you wasn't, were too young on I the one. Yeah, I wasn't old enough to yeah, go to that Yeah, because I saw how party. young Vicky was. Yeah. Okay. But, but what I did notice in both those photos, what? How the children were dressed. Yes, beautifully. They all had on uh, suit. The boys had on suits or, or, or you know, sh- shirts, shirts and slacks. Ties. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and the girls had on dresses, and they were all. I just it was like man look at how we were dressed back then it was very important to the black family to, rep- to represent, represent. Mm-hmm. and I'll never forget my children never went to church or anywhere without lace socks period we had those little lace ruffle socks around their legs and their sh- shoes and it was just cute and clean looking it, it uh, to me it gave uh if going to church it gave an importance to church if you 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 have to dress up to go to but now you don't you know they you can come you know and, and it was always come as you are but it was come are. as you are with full of sin and we would change them but now y'all coming as you are because you don't feel like dressing up taking a bath putting on the clothes pulling up your pants brushing your teeth ah, come on y'all come on man comb your daggone Jesus. house yeah yep. mm-hmm. but anyway and i think uh i, I want you to come i guess they want to get you there in the way they can but i think it's real important for young men to see other young other men dressed in suits and if your daddy is a uh blue collar worker you won't see it except on sunday so let him see it let him see it. let him see his daddy dressed up in a suit and tie and let and and, and buy him one if you can and if you can't an uncle or aunt will just, yeah. And if you're looking for a suit, just go see two of the best clothiers that I know. I'm Belmont clothiers? Not the Belmont. Style. Oh, Belmont. <laughs> Rob Belmont. I right. mean, not Rob. Now I'm saying Rob Hunter. Rob. What was Rob's name? Last name? Oh, I don't know, but I, I'm telling you, you want to go to the Style Shop, which this is, is right Tampa here. This is Tampa Bay, Tammy, and I'm on the radio. You need to tune in and call uh, later. L- let me do it again, which oh, is uh, this, uh, the Style Lab. Yeah, the style Rick I with Rick Rollins right here uh, on Thamp Camp, Thamp Campus. Thamp Campus, 5508 uh, North 50th Street, mm-hmm. and he's in Suite 10. Mm-hmm. Or you can visit Daryl House of uh, I say Classic like Gentleman. Classic Gentleman on <laughs> yeah. Florida Avenue. On Florida Avenue. He's at the corner of Florida Avenue and Hillsboro. He's one business over from the corner. The cleaners is on the corner. He's right next door. Go check them both out. They Look, they both clothe me. Those guys, And you know and how sharp I am. Oh, oh you saying. sharp. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no doubt now. well, I got to give Bob credit. He has dressed you for the last how many years for yeah. the Power Couples Ball? Uh, you, you mean well, Daryl or Bob? I said, Bob, yeah, yeah, yeah. man, I'm stuck Bob, in the past. Bob is in Let Atlanta it go. now. Yes, Let it go. he is. Let but it he go. did dress me too. Well, Bob and Daryl got it going on. But yeah. Bob, Daryl House, House is the one who has dressed Daryl, my DJ CEO yes. for the Power Cups Ball. So if you saw him in any of those Whatever uh, you saw me in, suits, it came from Gentleman's Boutique, Daryl House. Classic. <laughs> Classic Gentleman's Boutique. Man, I can't believe, I, Bob, I need to call Bob. Yeah. Bell, my clothiers, Bob is in Chicago. I, I mean, oh, Chicago, in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know what else has been on my mind? I found out about the NAACP in what about Detroit. It? I want to go to Detroit. Oh, there you go. Uh-huh. I don't put it out there. So, first and foremost, I am looking for a young man to take over on Saturday mornings and run the station so my man can run off with me. I'm about to run off with Adam because I am going to live. Well, it ain't like you ain't run off before. So yeah, you know I will run off. Okay. I will. And have a great time when I'm gone, mm. too. Ooh, mm. yes, Watch yes, out. yes. Watch God. out. And I would love to be in Detroit. You need to go to Detroit, too, though, Daryl, because that's where our family is. When What's going on Hula? in Detroit? I, I just said, told you, the, the NAACP. NAACP. Okay, what about them? National Convention. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we need to be a delegate. We need what to pick up mean? the phone. What is wrong with you? Cut that phone off. No, I can't. Believe, I know Tree ain't calling me on the radio station. I thought maybe she outside and she coming in, oh. and she must not know I'm live on the air. I'm sure that's what it one is. One of my clients, yeah, Tree is one of my clients. She's getting married in August, so that's why I didn't cut the phone off. I said, well, maybe she misunderstood okay. me, or maybe she you, outside trying you, to come in. Did you cut it? Did you put it on silent mm. since you picked it up? No, okay. you know I ain't good. Okay, there we go. There we go. I put the click. My ringers on silent. Yeah, okay. now we talk. Okay, and if you want to talk to me on air, the number is. 813 444 9588. Okay. Again. 813 
444-9588. And if it does not concern this show and what's going on now or something that people need to know, then call me later and I'll talk to you then. You are listening to In Touch Radio, reality radio, where everyone is a star and we can be heard internationally. I want to thank so many of you all for tuning in, but right now I want you to call a friend and tell them to listen in because I'm going to tell you right when we get back after this commercial, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do this evening. I'm so excited. Hey. Hey, this is Adrian Wright, better known as Mr. Clean. You looking for some great barbecue? Come see them two brothers in the grill. Located at 423 Virginia Street, Charleston, West Virginia. We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, brisket, collard greens, mac and cheese, baby. Come get some. And get you a nice, smooth cigar. 304-550-4431. That is 304-550-4431. Come get some, baby. The rib man, mama, the rib man. Hi, I'm Donald L. Dowers Jr., your motivational guru. This is the DLD Motivational Moment. One darn second. America since 2017 is suffering from a serious hiccup. 9-11 is seriously overused in a distasteful manner. Every day the cops are calling on an innocent, innocent person of color. It amazes me that America has come down to this. A person of color becomes a person of interest. Waffle House, the dorm, Starbucks is a few. This is not the lunch counters, sit-ins of the 1960s. 2019, harassed simply for being black and proud. Hold on one darn second. This has been the DLD Motivational Moment. Pre-order my new book, Motivational Moments, at DLD28-2002 at yahoo.com or 813-394-5875. Hey, I am Tampa Bay Tammy. You're tuned in to In Touch Radio, reality radio where everyone is a star. I told you before you left, we had a big event coming up and we will be attending. And guess what it is? What is it? Babe, I hope you didn't forget. Today is the 100 Black Men of Orlando's event. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. So we have to ride over there. I the big Yes, because they have the best events ever. Um like them, I give a ball, but mine is September 21st this year at the Grand Hyatt. But from them, what I took from their ball was they always had two meets. Well, it's it's, it's not a ball, is it? <laughs> no, theirs no. is more like a gay little scholarship. It's a scholarship, yeah, scholarship ball, but they yeah, don't yeah. dance and do all that. Yeah. But they have dinner, evening gowns, tuxedos. It's a nice but they, event. They, pick, they fill the house over there at the Rosen Center. Oh, They honey. do a really, really good job. Because, you know, it's not easy. Well, is it, it the Rosen Center? Well, it has been. Okay. Yeah. But 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 yeah. it's not necessarily so. But yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It, it has been because it's one of the biggest ballrooms in Orlando. So right. Yeah. Now, when I look at balls, what how they inspired me was when I looked across the room, they had a hundred black men, so you know they had a hundred tables. Right. Mm-hmm. True. Well, we often struggled to our our room would only hold fifty tables, so we were struggling to just get the fifty tables. But it was Daryl and I doing it. Well, the 100 black men had 100 men doing it. So I felt good. I said, this is what they're doing, and this is what the two of us are doing. So I was proud. But what I could do, I didn't have those 100 tables, but I will. But I could have two meats. They always had two meats two on their plate. And so, so ever since then, meats. I got two meats. <laughs> two uh, meats. About six years ago, uh, yeah. I started two meats. Two meats. And I got to thank my uh, son-in-law for introducing me to the 100 black men of Orlando. Calvin Hayes. Calvin defined the moment Hayes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Diplomat Calvin Hayes. Tim, who got Future president in with us? Calvin Hayes. Yeah. I haven't forgotten him over here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get to him. <laughs> don't be rushing well, I'm me. I'm just saying, you don't have about four minutes left. Oh, well, yeah. you better rush me. I got to rush Look, me. I just brought a brother in, a white brother. You look Jewish got, with that yeah. nose. No, I'm about no, to pull no, your no. nose. What's your, what's your, I'm Hispanic. You're Hispanic. What's your last name? Laura. Laura, spell it. L O R A. It's a different spelling. It sure is. Where's your family from? My mom was Puerto Rican and my father Dominican. Okay, Dominican that's Republic. cool. My daughter's in Puerto Rico and my best friend is from Dominica, uh, from the Dominican Republic. Iris, one yes. of my best friends. Yes yes, 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 yes. Now, you're here with us now. What do you do? 
So basically, you do a podcast. You do a podcast with us? I thought oh, you. Yeah, I'm the no, insane, no, but no. here. He, he's, he, he, he's he's let him this. talk. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Don't mess look, it up. Look, look, <laughs> don't look. This is a new guy that Daryl has just hired that brought in that will be working for us. So I want to know, what do you do? At home or here? Here. Okay, here. I just um basically upload videos on YouTube or Oh, okay. Lean into the mic. You do, you upload our YouTube and our what? And edit the videos. Okay, you're our social media specialist or something like that? Yeah, basically. Oh, you're here to assist with social media? Yeah. Okay, okay. And how did Daryl find you? He found me from the Camp of Crossroads um, Institute. I mean, they have... um, Outreach or what is it? No, it was a... Job agency that's also helped me look for jobs. Okay, a job agency. So you're kind of behind the scenes guy. Yeah. Yeah. Are you thinking about being more in front of the scenes or you just strictly a behind the scenes guy? I don't mind being in front of the scenes because I do a podcast. Okay. And what's the name of your podcast? You know, I got to check you out. It's called Ultimate Awesomeness Universe. Ultimate, Ultimate. Awesomeness. Say, there. I don't need you to speak for him. Everybody know you. We trying to see who this is, right? Okay, come on now. Who now? Cause see, I had. A, let me tell you something. I started my radio career on air at Q one hundred five Country with a gentleman by the name of Roger P. Schulman. Yeah. I had. I started calling him the charming Roger P. Schulman, mm-hmm. and he became charming. So I'm deciding what I'm going to call. Daryl said you're Stephen. I like. Yes. I like Estevan. Esteban. Esteban. Uh, Esteban. <laughs> okay, spell it. It's E S T E B A N. B. That's your name. Yes. That's what your mama named you. Yes. Man, you got a real super sexy name. Why would you be called anything less than Esteban? Because people have problems in it. Baby, if you better know. Mom told me just to call me Steve. Man, they can embrace that name. Esteban. They can embrace that name. Mm-hmm. You got to embrace it first. It is a strong name. It is a radio name. It is a star name. Can you walk into it? You know, sometimes you got to walk into what he's Esteban. Esteban. You got to get an attitude with Esteban. You need to look at the movie Jane the Virgin on Netflix. Okay. Jane the Virgin has... Some I heard of it. It's a TV uh, show on CW. Right, right. And it has some Latin uh, influence and Latin characters, sex Latin characters who are into themselves. And I want you to look at that because I am not calling you Stephen. Okay. We had a Stephen. <laughs> I'm calling you Esteban. Esteban. You won't make me <laughs> say B. Yes, the okay, B Esteban. B. Esteban. B. I don't like Esteban as much as I like Esteban. Right Can we? T- oh, I'm looking at my phone. Okay. Hey, this is Tampa Bay Tammy. Who am I speaking with? This is Joe. How's it going, uh, Tampa Bay Tammy? This is who? Joe. Joe who? Joe. Oh, Joe. What's Joe that? ain't having you in so long. Joe the truck driver. <laughs> Joe, our loyal listener. You miss me, baby. <laughs> I, sure I do. I miss you. I'm calling. First, I want to say, um, Congratulations on y'all 39 years of, of marriage. Well, that's a wonderful oh. blessing. Thank you, Joe. And, and, and DJ Tino, what, what is the golf? Is the golf out in on a twenty? Does that, is that, is that day fall on a Saturday or a Sunday? It's, it's a Saturday. Mm-hmm. Saturday. Me and my son will be attending. Hey. So I just want to say, Tam, Bay Tam, I, I hear how you're giving that Esteban, that, that guy. That's giving him confidence. I bet he's teasing from here to there. You know, this is Tammy. <laughs> Tammy, she knows what she's talking about. I'm telling you. married 39 years for no reason. Mm-hmm. And Tammy stays smiling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm usually a smiler. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. But, All right, peace. Yeah. All right, take it easy. Thank you, Joe. And looking forward to seeing you on Saturday. Not Yeah, is it this Saturday? It is coming It's this up. Saturday. Lord. Okay, y'all get it together because I ain't got it next together. Saturday, next Saturday. Next Saturday, the 15th. Next Saturday because today, yeah, next today is Saturday. Next Saturday, the 15th. I'll see you at the golf outing. Okay. Yes. Esteban. Yes, you got it right this time. Esteban. <laughs> I got to say it two or three times because, you know, once I have in my mind what I want things to be, it take me a minute to get it out or to change it. Esteban. No, you had Esteban. it right the first time. God, dog. <laughs> Man. Daryl, I don't need you correcting me. <laughs> oh, I oh. hear myself. Do you? 
Okay, yes. well, I'm, I just want to be sure. Esteban. Yeah. I'm going to say it a few times wrong, mm. but you're going to answer, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm Esteban, I need I need a new attitude from you. All right. Okay. I need, um, I need Esteban. I did it again. I need the Esteban. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see. I need the Esteban. I need the Esteban attitude, though. I need you to walk in the right. name and own yeah. it. And when people come in this door, I need you to own it because we are in touch radio, reality radio, where everyone is a star. So you got to be a star when they walk in the door. You can be a quiet, subtle star, but you got to be a confident star. And you got to right. handle things. Now, uh, when you read and you post and stuff for In Touch News, I want you to know that we are. A good news resource and a good news publication. We are the fun paper. We are the excited paper. We're the optimistic paper. Optimistic resource. We're all that. And if you're a part of us, you are that too. I'm glad right. to have you on board. Can I give a handshake? I hope your experience with us will pivot you to another level. I hope you will stay with us a while. Find your way and pivot it to where you want to be. Okay? Thank and thank you for coming. Hey, y'all. I thank y'all for tuning in. I will be back next week, hopefully. Yeah. No, yeah. Saturday morning might yeah. need to be a rerun. We got the golf. How am I going to be on at 12 o'clock and at the golf place at 12? Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Follow y'all. Have a good one. Bye. Tampa Bay, Tammy, and the rest of the family. Packing every chair. Stars from everywhere. It don't get no better than this. She's insane. Tampa Bay, Tammy, talk show off the chain. Incredibly, she will not be the talk of the town, so check it. And if you don't know, T the new host will know she come to wreck it. It's a Tampa.